Hey, welcome to SourceFed. My name is Elliot Morgan. All right, so we're going to talk about the Democratic Party. We're just going to dive right into this cesspool of history and swim around until we find the doubloons of knowledge at the bottom. And if you can't hold your breath for quite that long, you're going to drown down there. Okay, so take a deep breath and flap your arms real fast. That's called an extended metaphor. No, it, it didn't make any sense. The history of the Democratic Party is a long, convoluted one, way longer than those elephants on the other side of the aisle. What with their fiscal conservatism and their inherent lack of charm. Now, whether you view Democrats as hippies who are leading this country into socialism or a group of like-minded individuals who seek an even playing ground for everyone, one thing is definitely true. The Democratic Party is the oldest political party, even older than the one I made last week. It's a Batman party. It's not a political party, it's a costume party, but you can at least vote on whether we watch the Nolans or the Burtons first. The Democratic Party goes way back to Jefferson, Madison, and Monroe. These anti-federalists suppose the central government favored by those loony guys like George Washington and John Adams. That said, this name, Democrat, wasn't adopted until 1828. Prior names were things like Democratic Republican Party. That sounds scary. And before that, the Republican Party. That also sometimes for some people sounds moderately scary. History is fun. So there were these people called the Jeffersonian Democrats, and they were all about civil liberties and limited executive authority. They repped the farmers and the common folk, the blue collar kids. In 1860, the party split over slavery. When Republican Abraham Lincoln was elected, those in the South became largely Democratic, resenting that they had had their slaves taken from them. Don't take my slaves. But by the 1900s, the party had evolved. The party that was once all anti-government had become increasingly fond of more government oversight and more of the government getting all up in your business. They also started moving toward interpreting the Constitution in a more liberal manner. So now we're moving all the way to 1948 and the whole civil rights movement. And again, the party split. There were these people called Dixiecrats, the Southern Democrats, and then there was the more progressive wing. It was actually Lyndon Johnson, who was a Southern Democrat, who took matters into his own hands to end discrimination, at least the governmentally sanctioned discrimination, because discrimination is still out there if you haven't noticed or been paying attention to news ever. He did this knowing full well that it might very well cause the Democratic Party to lose virtually all of their support in the South. He was kind of right as Republicans began to make crazy strides throughout that region. But when it came to civil rights, the Republican Party lost most of their support from the African Americans, as they weren't quite so adamant about that whole movement. So when African Americans finally got the right to vote, guess who they largely didn't vote for? So what does the Democratic Party stand for nowadays? The Democratic Party believes in a progressive government. They believe in a community based on ethics as opposed to morals. They believe that equality is found by creating a level playing field and that freedom is found in that equality. The Democratic Party believes that everyone deserves the same chance to succeed in life. They focus on the society over the individual and above all else, they believe that the world can be improved. Sound like the perfect political party? Not really. The Democratic Party, just like the Republican Party, does have some corruption and does sometimes do whatever it takes to achieve their goals. Political parties are made up of two things, philosophies and the people who try to institute those philosophies. And while certain philosophies can be debated, there are people in both both parties that will undoubtedly screw things up for everybody. At the end of the day, it's not about what political party is better than the other. It's about you, what you believe, and what direction you believe that this country should take. I'm Elliot Morgan, this is SourceFed, and also we will be at the Democratic National Convention, so keep checking in because we're going to be updating you from there. You can like and subscribe, you can click this annotation for our five daily stories. I feel like we should all just be friends. Seriously, we should be friends. Like, best friends. You want to you wanna hug? I mean, we, we can, oh, all right, come.